Hello everybody! Welcome back to G-Bears Off Gridways, a homestead in the desert. And yeah, I'm out here in the uh, garage and got the uh, waste oil uh, heater burning because it's cold! It's really cold. Windy as can be. Oh my god. 47 miles per hour in the middle of the night. I got. I woke up to sit, listen to the pounding and banging outside and what the heck is going on out there and uh, I checked my weather gauge and I said oh my word 47 miles per hour that's ridiculous so anyway got my welder nearby here and I'm about to move that out of here because I got the heat running now as you can see the flame burning there behind the door and uh, yeah there's no smoke in here it's, uh, it's going up to the chimney but I modified the um, the drip area here, so like I said, I'm going to weld a bar there to hold this, this pipe in place so it doesn't move. And then I'm going to put a bell reducer on there to make a funnel type thing. And then I welded this piece on the top here and welded it to the um, street L right there. So I can control my flow right here and I don't have to look through a little tiny window. I can just uh, see it right there, see what, what the size of the drip is. And that's the size of the drip, which is a little bit heavy. I might have to cut that back a little bit. But uh, let's see, I don't want to leave this open too much because it'll smoke out the door. Yep. Yeah, it's burning really well in there. So close that up. Put the, put the stop on it. So it holds it shut and all the exhaust is going out the top. Now, if I put a blower on this, an electric blower, there won't be any smoke at all. And it just uh, burns so fast and clean with that extra oxygen. But this is just a draft that's, that's doing that. I got holes drilled in the bottom and water coming up. I'm Air coming up, not water. But um, one of the things I did do was where the pipe, the feed pipe sticks out on the inside. I welded a little metal plate on there. Uh, something like this. So it's welded under the pipe right there. And it's not as long as this, but the water, the oil drips onto here. And this thing gets hot as uh, the f flames burn. So what's gonna do is vaporize when it hits this plate down inside there before it actually drops down into the pot. And that'll make it burn a little bit cleaner and hotter. And I've already noticed the difference with the heat coming out of here. I just now lit this thing just before I started the video. So you can see how well it's doing. And uh, yeah, the, let's see if I can cut this back a little bit more without shutting it off. Yeah, that's much better. It's, that's a lot easier to do that than it was before. So now I got just a little, little hairline drip coming out of there. So that'll go a long way on uh, that much waste oil up there. And I've got more that I can pour up in there yet. Now somebody asked me, can I burn vegetable oil in here, used cooking oil? Yes, I can. But I want to. I, when I do, I want to mix it with regular motor oil and transmission fluid and brake fluid, anything that's flammable. I want to mix it together with the vegetable oil. And why? Well, I learned a long, long, long time ago when I had a fireplace in one of my houses and I was running low on firewood and I wanted to um, keep some heat going for the cold winter nights. So I uh, had some extra vegetable oil that I was getting ready to throw out I said, well, I'll, I'll pour that into an old pan. I'll stick it in there and I'll get it lit and uh, let it burn like a, a big candle inside of the fireplace. Well, it was fine until the pan got hot. And then those of you who have been cooking a while, you know what happens when the pan gets too hot with vegetable oil in it? That's right. The oil starts foaming and it foams up over the top edge of the pan 
and then it burns like gasoline as it's flowing out of the pan and it just keeps on um, progressively getting worse and worse and I, I was noticed it was the oil was coming out of the the hearth coming towards my carpeting uh, I always kept a fire extinguisher close by so I grabbed a hold of that and I put the fire out but uh, within two inches of the carpeting it was a pretty scary situation that stuff was all of a sudden it just foamed up spilled over caught fire and it was like somebody was spraying gasoline out of a garden hose that's how how fast it was flaming just nasty as can be so if you're going to use uh, vegetable oil don't use it just by itself in a, a burner like this put it in <clears throat> mix it in with the regular um, oil motor oil or transmission fluid or something like that this thing is really putting off some nice heat I wonder what put the temperature on it oh actually oh I wonder if this thing is going to be able to be seen on here at this time 530 degrees and that's only been oh, 600 degrees that's all that's only been running now for about 10 minutes and I'm putting out 700 let's see 790 going on gonna go on 800 here yep 792 degrees Fahrenheit at the burn pot area so this thing is efficient it works just great and as you can see it's clear in here there's no smoke in here uh, no odors in here anything like that it's all going up the chimney so cool so, oh, I don't need this to be keep on burning here, so I'm going to shut it off, that simple, and let it burn out. So, this is a pretty good little setup I did. This is a uh, one of those ball valves, and I put a, um, a gas flare, flare fitting in there that's only got a quarter inch hole in it to let the uh, the oil out and it's kind of like a, a reducer and then this is a um, inch and a half by three quarter and then I put a three quarter to half reducer bushing in it and uh, it's all stuff I had on hand here it was nothing uh, I didn't have to buy anything to do the changeover on it but it sure beats the way I had it before looking through that um, that T to see the the oil dripping this way. It's it's really simple to watch and the reason I didn't do it this way in the first place was because I Thought that if I did that and I opened the door the wind was going to blow the oil out of there But then I thought to myself Why would I open that door? I want it to stay warm in here I got that door open way down there. I don't need to open this door and I want it this to heat the shop not heat the outside so anyway that's what I did today because uh, I've been hunkered down most of the day but I did have to go to the um, post office because I got noticed that I had a package well actually they said I had two packages but it was just that they double noticed me instead of uh, a single notice I got two notices for the same package but uh, I went down and picked that up. I was supposed to install a water heater for a neighbor in one of their RVs. And uh, the, with the winds blowing that uh, between 35 and 40 miles per hour all morning and cold as can be outside, I called and postponed that till tomorrow because the winds are supposed to die down later today. Well, it's going on supper time and it's not dying down yet. So, who got a hold of my rag? You guys will chew anything, won't you? All the dogs are in here because it's nice and warm. Uh, that's about it. There's the puppies over there. 
it's uh this is sandy star and sugar paw sugar paw is a girl San sandy and star are both boys and their mom is suzy q they all have names that begin with s anybody pick up on that all right, everybody, I want to thank you all for joining me. This is G-Bear signing off.